and welcome to the Q30 News Weekly Digest. I'm Chandler Thornton. The ISIS executioner known as Jihadi John has been identified. The Islamic militant who has been pictured in the videos of the beheadings of Western hostages is allegedly named Mohammed Mwazi. He is believed to be a Kuwait-born British man who traveled to Syria in 2012 where he later joined ISIS. The masked man made his first appearance in the ISIS video where he executed journalist James Foley in August. He allegedly killed at least seven foreign captives on video. Ex-Marine Eddie Ray Routh is found guilty of the murder of American sniper author Chris Kyle and his friend Chad Littlefield. While Routh admitted to killing the two men, his attorneys tried to convince the jury he is not guilty by reason of insanity. Prosecutors argued Routh knew right from wrong and understood his actions the day of the shooting. The jury found Routh, gu gu Routh guilty of capital murder in the deaths of former Navy SEAL and Littlefield. The 27-year-old is now facing life in prison without parole. And new laws are allowing Washington, D.C. residents to smoke marijuana. Washington Mayor, Mayor Muriel Bowser implemented a measure approved by D.C. voters permitting residents to possess up to two ounces of pot. This law only applies to people 21 and older, and residents can grow up to six pot plants in their own yards. Many Republicans argued the new law is violating federal law. Bowser disagrees and said the state has bigger things to worry about. And the record-breaking winter continues that even the South can't escape. Nearly 7,000 flights have been canceled this week after a storm swept the region. This is the third storm to hit the Deep South in less than a week. Huntsville, Alabama broke a daily record after receiving 8.1 inches of snow Wednesday. And continues in the Northeast as Boston has 102 inches of snow so far this season, more than three times the normal amount. Boston is just 5.7 inches away from breaking the all-time record. And that's been your Q30 News Weekly Digest for the week. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Q30 News for the latest news in and around campus. I'm Chandler Thornton.